Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back into my YouTube channel. It's me Christian and I am back again for another video. So sorry, medyo nawala ako for around one week kasi I was busy actually last week and we did have um a team building and as you can see, nag nangitim ako. So we just came from Samal Island. So unfortunately, hindi ako naka-vlog doon. But anyways, ayun. So thank you, thank you so much to um some of my friends as well sa mga nag-invite sa akin for team building sa mga Davao Vloggers. And yes, I am now a Davao Vlogger. Isa na ako sa member ng mga Davao Vloggers Association. And sobrang happy ko lang kasi they actually invited me and reached out sa aking YouTube channel. So, ayan. So, thank you, thank you all so much sa lahat po ng mga nag-invite to all um, the people. And I was actually very happy because they also made me their host for the night's um, event noon sa Samal Island. So, it was very amazing the the people, um, the event, the organizers, the whole, um, you know, everything is just very awesome. So, again, thank you, thank you all so much. So, again, and without further ado, uh, let's do this video. So, basing as a title ng video nato, as you can read, um, this is the Concentrix full application process. So, this is for those who wanted to work as a call, uh, customer service representative, a call center agent, and want to apply in one of the biggest um, company, BPO company in the Philippines, not only in the Philippines as well, but internationally, and that is Concentrix. So, um, I guess just want to set proper expectation because this is actually not a new video that I do from Concentrix Centrics. So there are also videos that I did um isa isa dito sa mga videos. So this is actually like the whole process of the application process and I want you guys to um uh, like know kung ano nga ba yung um pagdadaanan niyo if you want to apply in Concentrics. And I just want to set also um expectation to everyone who is watching that Concentrics like what I've said is one of the largest and the biggest BPO company here in the Philippines. So, um, and they also hold some of the major accounts when it comes to the BPO industry. Um, they do have um, international, they do have um, a Telco international account, the retail, healthcare, and um, ano pa ba? Yeah, so most of them are mga ganon. They also have local accounts, but their local accounts as well are premium accounts. So, isa talaga yung concentric sa isang parang matatag na na um, BPO company when it comes to handling um, major accounts. So, I know na maraming gustong maging part ng Concentrix. So, this video is hopefully makatulong sa inyo. And just a quick background. So, last Tuesday, um, February um, 4 ata or 5, I actually went to Concentrix. So, like what I've said earlier, I've already um, done nilipad yung cortina sa likod ko kasi yung umuulan. So, sorry about that. But anyways, ayan. So, I actually um, apply, applied um, last September, uh, last August of 2022 sa Concentrix. Pero, at naka-job offer din ako. But at that time, they offered me a different account, which is healthcare account, a premium healthcare account nila. Pero, um, like what I've said sa previous videos ko, I actually applied to three, Teleperformance, VEX, I and Concentrix. And at that time, VEX ay yung unang tumawag sa akin for the job offer. So, I promised myself na kung sino yung pinakaunang tumawag sa akin is doon, uh, yun yung tatanggapin ko. So, eventually, nag-decline ako sa offer ng Concentrix. At, ayun, pumunta ako sa ibang account. And anyways, ayun, so I'm back. So, um, I will. I also will uh, make a video about the XI um, journey. So, ayon. So, um, ayon. So, let's focus again. And I'm back. Tapos, um, what I did is since tapos na nga ako last August sa aking application sa Concentrix. So, nagtry ako na mag-apply ulit at kung pwede, like final interview na siguro may ibibigay silang privilege to those na nakapag-apply sa Concentrix before tapos sa katanggap ng job offer things na ganun so I thought na merong ganun pero um, ayun, pero na-expect pa rin ako na baka iba yung process because online ako nag-apply last um, last year so ngayon is walk-in ako so I went to uh, the recruitment hub here in Davao City um, it's in the Abriza Mall sa first floor and then when I went there last Tuesday and I just also want to give you, you guys this step if you want to apply in a BPO or anong kahit sa ang company naman make sure you come early so when I got there because I, I really thought na 9 o'clock pa sila mag-open for um 
accepting walk-in cli- uh, walk applicants. So, pagpunta ko doon, 8 o'clock, kasi gusto ko nga mauna, open na sila. So, guys, sa so mga gustong magtanong, sa gustong mag-walk-in, um, pumunta kayo ng 8 o'clock, open na sila. So, pumunta ko ng 8 o'clock or 8 o'clock to 8.10 in the morning. So, pagpunta ko doon is, ayun, sabi nga sa akin na okay na daw open. And they actually ask for a vaccination card and a valid ID. So, pagpupunta po kayo guys at gusto nyo pong mag-apply, make sure to bring valid ID and um, vaccination card. There's no need for you to bring resume or anything because they do have forms that you will be going to um, fill up. Okay, so ayon so right after there, so nag-check yung, nag-check sa bag, kung ano yung laman, nag-present ako ng vaccination card, nag, um, nag-present din ako ng valid ID, and then I wear face mask because it's still needed pag mag-apply kasi, ayun, kasi makakahalubilo ka. So I was actually the first, um, applicant na pumasok doon, and then like after few minutes, may, may sumunod na sa akin. So after, ayun, after kung pumunta doon at mag-walk in, um, the the security guard actually assisted me papunta doon sa front desk um pang doon yung um mag maglalagay ka mag attendance ka and something then yung yung nandun sa front desk um assisted me to have my online registration so may mga computers doon sa mismong waiting area or sa lobby so nag online registration ako so ang hiningi lang naman doon is like full name kung taga saan ka if you have BPO experience, so kung meron kang BPO experience for how long, um, what account, what, um, ganun. So, tapos, ayun, so meron din doon yung mga expected na mga, or yung mga standard questions like, are you willing to work um, on holidays, weekends, ayan, um, overtime, mga ganun. So, isa lang siyang page, tapos mga around... 10 to 15 questions lang siya tapos yes or no then fill up yung mga personal information after non after mo masubmit non um naghintay ako doon sa lobby and sabi na maghihintay lang daw ako para sa initial interview so it's around 8 o'clock and i was really shocked kasi i thought na alas uh as nuwebe pa nga ako initial interview but there are actually interviewers and recruiters na doon uh, sa sa loob ng mga interview rooms at dumagsa na before 9 o'clock I think puno na yung buong chair so again guys if you want to um, have your process very fast or your application um, yung mabilisan lang make sure to go there very early in the morning okay and then after noon um, I was up for initial interview at ang nangyari is sobrang dami nga namin so um, the recruiter or the interviewer um, ano tawag natin dito um, consider two applicants at the time. So, dalawa kami doon in-interview for initial interview. So, ako yung unang in-interview kasi parang first come, first serve basis. So, ako yung una tapos yung pangalawa naman. So, ayan. By the way, shoutout doon sa mga kasama ko and I just want to have a, a quick advertisement. So, pagpunta ko doon, I was really shocked kasi ang daming nakarecognize sa akin. Like, kau ba yung ganon, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. And then, ayun, so parang sobrang jolly ng, ng, Kasi while waiting Tapos every time na iba-iba yung step After pagkatapos ng isang step Kasi babalik ka sa lobby And w- you will wait for your name to be called Marami nakarecognize sa akin And then, so mga hindi pa rin nakarecognize So while waiting then, ayun, nagtanong sila Kung ano yung, face, uh, yung YouTube channel ko So, ayun, nagsubscribe yung iba Nanood sila Tapos while waiting, nanood sila sa mga steps So again, thank you, thank you so much I really appreciate Medyo nakakahiya talaga Kasi hindi ako sa nine na ma-recognize Kasi hindi naman talaga ako ganun kasi kat But anyway, sobrang salamat at sobrang happy sobrang nakaka uh, nakakaluwag sa puso yung mga ganoon um, feedbacks like they actually watch my videos before they went to um, Abriza doon sa recruitment hub ng Concentrix and again thank you thank you so much sa lahat ng mga nag-appreciate and hope that you continue um, supporting my YouTube channel at sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe guys what are you waiting for please do subscribe to my YouTube channel so ayun so ayun so nag-uusap-usap kami then uh, before kami nag-initial interview nag-uusap na kami ng girl so nag-practice-practice kami and eventually kung ano yung sinabi ko sa plus videos ko is yun yung nangyari and then the, uh, for the initial interview they actually set uh, my expectations that because I did apply before so online or virtually so i have to undergo the initial interview and all of the process um man, uh, step by step so hin- parang hindi na yun siya counted kasi online nga siya so walk in ako that time so ayun so sabi ko naman it's okay so sa initial interview ayun so tell me about yourself and then ayun because i have work experience they ask me about um, a situation na mahirap like handling irate customers how i handled 
And ayun, so ano yung mga greatest take away ko? Ano yung mga naging maganda uh, yung mga lessons ko doon sa previous company ko? Uh, ano yung na-realize ko? Things uh, ganun. Then meron siyang random question which is um differentiate sympathy from empathy. So ayun. So sa mga hindi nakakaalam, so sympathy means um you're feeling other people's feeling like if he or she is sad, so you will feel as well sad or na, na, meron siyang um hindi magandang incident na nangyari sa buhay niya, you're uh you feel sorry for that person. Ganon. So yun yung sympathy. Empathy naman means putting yourself into other people's shoes like Meron siyang choices. For example, kung ano ba yung ano yung pipiliin niya, yung choice A or choice B. So you will put yourself into his situation at ano yung gagawin mo kung ikaw yung nasa situation niya. Yun yung empathy. So putting yourself in other people's shoes. So yun yung answer ko. And ayun, medyo parang 3 to 6 questions ng initial interview. Tapos pagkatapos ko is uh, kinausap na naman yung isa so nag-wait lang din ako na matapos sa so, initial interview which is nerve-wracking kasi andun ka mafeel mo yung tension between them at nafeel niya din yung tension between sa amin ng interviewer but anyway sobrang bait din ng interviewer so shout out to you mami so ayan so proud um, LGBTQ community din yung uh, member yung nag-interview nag-initial interview sa amin so ayun so sobrang happy and then fortunately after niya magsagot we were endorsed for assessment so we passed the initial interview so bumalik na naman kami sa lobby and ayun so ibang recruiter na naman yung nag-handle sa amin so around 5 minutes tinawag ako for assessment now for assessment uh, they set proper expectation which I already know naman there are a lot of sets of assessments that are sa Concentrix because nga, they hold um special international like the Telco, like the AT&T um, accounts. Talagang marami talagang assessment kasi yun yung hinihingi ng clients. It really depends. Hindi lang yun sa company, guys. Ha. May companies na talagang meron silang standard assessments and how to um, test their applicants. Pero meron ding nire-require yung clients like yung mga may-ari ng accounts like AT&T um, for healthcare, for retail account. So meron silang sarili nilang um, assessment na ipapatake sa yo aside doon sa mismo sa, sa mismong company na applyan mo so mag mag mag-aabot abot yun lahat so kailangan mong pasahin yon para ka ma-endorse or makatanggap ng job offer so yun yung baka, in, baka kasi may iba kasi na nag, nag bakit ang dami namang assessment dito sa sa teleperformance sa Lorica sa Concentrix ang sobrang dami naman pero sa iba isang assessment lang so again guys it really depends on the company and the account okay so ayun so doon sa assessment doon uh after sa initial interview, binigay sa akin, ang binigay sa akin na account is Talco, which is AT&T account, sa Concentrix. So, iba din yung assessment ng iba't ibang accounts. Okay? So, because I am in Talco, meron din sa healthcare, meron ganun. So, later on, as we go on with this video, I'm going to explain to you kung ano yung pinagkaiba. Kasi may mga parts sa assessment na same kayo lahat ititake, lahat ng applicants. Tapos, doon sa later part, account validation, doon na kayo parang magkaiba ng um, assessment doon sa dulo. Okay. Pero dito, lahat ng applicants ay dadaan dito sa first two na kanilang assessment. The first one is the SHL exam. So, ang 8 SHL exam, this is the speaking um, examination. So, itetest dito yung communication at English speaking skills mo. So, ang gagawin dito is, yung first category is repeat the word. So, babasa, uh, may fa-flash doon sa screen na sentence, word, or phrases. Tapos, uulitin mo lang siya. So, again, make sure na if it's a question, dapat you sound like you're asking. If at exclamation point, um, like you are um, excited or you are surprised. Ganun. So, make sure na kailangan I take consideration nyo yung mga punctuation marks. If there are commas, pause. Ganon. So, for example, how are you doing today? Parang ganon. Pero hindi, wala, maka, wala kang maririnig. Talagang babasahin mo lang siya with the proper intonation, pronunciation, and everything. So, after nun is merong repeat after me. So, may makikinggan kang audio. Tapos doon sa audio is, um, ayun, may sasabihin siyang audio. Pero hindi magpa-flash sa screen. So, kailangan mo pakinggan. After pakinggan, sasabihin mo yung um, word, phrases, or sentence na sinabi niya exactly kung paano siya sinabi doon sa audio. So, this is artificial computer po ito, guys. Computer na, ha? And then, meron din doong, um, ano pa yung meron? Um, um, parang may free speech din. May topic 
na ibibigay sa'yo then, magbibigay ka ng answer mo for 45 seconds, tapos meron yung questions doon. So, ganun. So, um, simple lang siya. English speaking skills lang talaga. Like, normal assessment for speak, uh, English speaking skills and communication skills pag mag apply ka sa BPO. So, after mo nung sa CHL exam, you will undergo again, the sec, uh, you will now proceed to the second um, exam, which is um, the CASI exam. So, but by the way, guys, when you go there, make sure na para hindi kayo mabagal, make sure na pagpupunta kayo dun, alam niyo yung email um, email address niyo at yung password. Kasi may katabi ko, hinakalimutan yung password. So, um, ang gagawin doon is kailangan mo kasi i-access doon sa mismo computer yung email mo. So, kailangan maglalagin ka sa Gmail mo. Ganon. Kasi doon ipapasa yung link. So, hindi nila, walang, wala silang system na parang mag, mag, magagawa ka ng login mo sa Concentrix. Walang ganon. So, talagang kailangan pumunta ka na meron kang active email at alam mo yung password kasi pag hindi mo alam yung password pa, pa, papalabasin ka sa assessment room doon ka sa lobby tapos i-figure out mo kung ano yung password so talagang matagal matagal ka matatapos so ayun so yung kasi exam naman yung second assessment this is a personality test so uh, parang pipili ka doon um, kung ano yung least uh, if situational yung questions uh, parang 20 yung questions so for example uh, may situation doon na Um, meron doong situation na, for example, um, as a customer service representative, there is a customer calling about um, discount. Kasi may discount siya for, may discount siya for, twa- for 12 months, tapos na-expire na siya, tapos naghihingi siya ng discount sa'yo, pero ikaw, as a customer service, limited lang yung access mo at hindi ka makabigay ng discount. So, ano yung gagawin mo? Ganun. Tapos may choices. Pipiliin mo yung most o yung best solution at yung least. So, dalawa yung pipiliin mo. So, may column doon na best or least. So, apat yon So, sa apat na yun, isang best at isang least. Yung dalawa is yung parang safe lang. So, ang hahanapin mo lang is yung best at least. So, sa 20 questions na yun, doon nila malalaman kung an- paano ka maghahandle ng mga situations sa customer service representative. So, doon nila ibabase, ah, ito, uh, magaling to siya sa... Um, customer service kasi yung mga yung mga resolutions niya is ganoon tapos alam niya din yung kung ano yung pinaka list na gagawin or hindi yung hindi dapat gawin uh, as a call center agent okay so ganoon so 20 yon so after mong mapasa yung SHL at CASI you will undergo a different assessment na so first two pa lang ito so dito dito yung first um first cut kasi usually napapasa lahat sa initial interview um, hindi ko lang alam kung, kung anong reasons ng iba na hindi nakapasa sa initial interview maybe because of um, their information like they are still employed or nag-aaral sila or may plan sila mag-abroad ganun so usually doon nababagsak sa initial pero <clears throat> Konti lang naman yung nakikita ko na nababagsak sa initial interview usually talaga dito na sa assessment so after mo mapasa yung dalawa pupunta, na ka, pupunta ka na sa, dala, sa another assessment which is dalawa na naman ulit yung tinik namin. So, this time, after mga pasa yung si HL at Cassie, meron na naman silang isi-send sa'yo sa email. So, another, sa ibang setup na naman, ibang uh, ibang computer, kasi yung computer na kung andun kami sa SHL at sa Cassie exam, is para lang yung doon sa exam. So, <clears throat> lumipat ako sa ibang uh, PC, then, ayun, Nagpick ako ng ang next assessments, ang first, ang second, the dalawang assessment is the model test and the typing test. Now, sa model test, ano bang gagawin sa model test? Kasi yun yung una kong ginawa. Sa model test is, this is data entry. So, may papakikinggan kang, um, may papakikinggan kang audio, tapos ilalagay mo yun doon yung information. So, sa baba, <coughs> Sorry. So, doon sa baba is merong anong tawag natin dito? May name, uh, salutation, ganun-ganun. So, information, address, ganun-ganun. So, may magkikinggan kang audio like, um, example is, Hi, uh, my name is Diane Verrara. I'm director of um, Clean Homes Furniture. Then, um, my cell phone number is, uh, tapos address, uh, ganun-ganun-ganun. 318 Home Street, um, Channeling Wisconsin 635 ganun ganun ganun. So ang gagawin niyo is pakikinggan mo yung audio tapos habang nakikinig ka, i-fill up mo yung sa baba yung mga inihihim mga information mula doon sa audio like the name of the caller, kung ano yung position niya, address niya, zip code, um, number, then email address. 'Yon. So 
apat na audio yung pakikinggan nyo tapos ilalagay nyo. So, from the word data entry, ilalagay mo, i-enter mo yung mga data niya doon sa hinihingang information sa baba din. Okay? So, simple lang yun. Simple, sobrang simple lang kasi pakikinggan mo at pwede mo siyang ulit-ulitin. Hindi katulad kanina sa CHL na isang beses mo lang mariringgan yung audio. Okay, so madali lang yung model then pagkatapos yung is typing test. So para mapasa mo yung typing test kasi dalawa yung typing test na article or paragraph na gagawin mo. So kailangan mo siyang uh, 35 words per minute and 100% accurate. Dapat tama lahat ng words, capitalization, um punctuation marks, uh, comma, ganon. So, maraming nababagsak dito kasi yung mga proper noun, like the name of person, places, mga ganun, hindi nila kinakapitalize. So, make sure talaga na kung paano siya nag-appear doon sa, sa taas, dun, same din sa pag-type nyo. And then, make sure na wala kang, uh, wala kang errors kasi every time na mag-backspace ka, para magdi-decrease yung score mo sa words per minute. So, talagang dapat diretso-diretso na tama. Okay? 35 words per minute and dapat 100% accurate. So, ayun, napasa ko nga yung Moodle test at yung typing test. So, bumalik ako doon sa labas and I waited for 10 minutes um, para sa result ng, from initial hanggang sa typing test ko. If I am qualified to the next step, which is the versant. Yun na nga. So, ayun, so, luckily, my score... Um, from initial papunta sa typing test kasi sasabihin sa'yo yun I got 80% total 80% of 100% sa 5 steps from initial sa HL kasi model at typing test so 80% yung nakuha ko 75% yung passing rate nila so I was endorsed to versant so doon naman sa versant hindi naman agad-agad kayo magtitake ng versant there is um, an orientation so we did an orientation for 10 minutes So, sa orientation, meron doong um, categories. So, category A is reading. So, sa category A is magbabasa ka, pero may instructions. Meron siyang six um, sentences. Naka-number yun, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, may makikinggan kang audio, sasabihin na, please read sentence two. Kung ano yung hiningi, yun yung babasahin mo. So, follow instructions. So, may orientation din naman ito. So, ganun yung reading. So, yung sa akin, uh, may, yung katabi ko, napansin ko, hindi magkakasunod-sunod sa kanya. Like, nag-start doon sa bottom, padulong sa uh, taas. Sa akin naman, isa, simula talaga sa number 1 hanggang number 6. So, it was easier. Pero talagang dapat makinig ka sa instruction. Kasi baka sa bandang gitna or sa dulo, magbabago yung instruction niya. Ipaparitik niya sa'yo yung number 1. Ganun. So, after nung sa reading, we also have um, fill in the missing word. So, doon sa fill in the missing word, so, meron siyang sasabihin na something, tapos i-fill in mo yon Like, she blank playing in the background. In the backyard. She blank playing in the background. So, subject verb agreement. So, she is, ganun. So, sasabihin mo yung buong sentence. She is playing in the backyard. Tapos gano'n naman, they blank to, uh, they blank went to the market. Isang beses lang to. So, they did went or gano'n gano'n. So, parang gano'n. So, fill in the missing word subject verb agreement usually. So, yun yung second category. The third category was arrange the jumble words. So, um, for example, Playing a piano was mother. Isang beses lang din yun. Playing a piano was mother. Tapos, ang i-answer mo is yung tamang pagkakasunod-sunod. Mother was playing the piano. Ganon. Again, the playing piano, mother, uh, was mother. Mother was playing the piano. Ganon. So, para five ata or six items. Pagkatapos nun is meron ding um, question na choices. Would you get a bottle of water or a newspaper? A bottle of water. So, either naman sa choices, basta ang, ang dapat is, yung ano yung sagot mo is andun sa choices. Are they, uh, are they going to the market or to the church? To the market or to the church. So, it really depends kung ano yung answer mo. Basta tama yung dalawa, dapat lang na tama or nandoon sa choices. Okay? Then, after nun is retell a story. So, ito yung favorite part ko kasi dito ako malaking score. So, mayroong dalawang um, may dalawang situation na ibibigay 
So for a situation is, for example, a uh, Mike, um, Mike and Harry are classmates. So Harry has a bir um, it's Harry's birthday today. Mike wanted to surprise Harry by throwing a surprise party. So he invited Harry to his house for a study, uh, for study night. But Harry didn't know that um. Uh, Mike planned a surprise party and he invited some of his friends. So Harry was very surprised when his friends um, came in with cakes ganyan, and surprised him for his birthday. Ganyan. Tapos, i-revital mo yung story in your own words. So, ganun. Sasabihin mo lang na like, Mike and Harry are friends. So, um, because it is Harry's birthday, uh, Mike wanted, him, uh, wanted to surprise him. But he don't want to um, tell him that... Um, it says uh, that the worst of surprise ganun 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 yung gagawin mo so dalawa yun dalawang dalawang sentence or article yun so ganun then the last part of the versant is um Q&A so uh, may ibibigay din sa yun na dalawang question so yung question first ko is ah, nakalimutan ko yung first yung second is um uh, if you would um change something in your life what would um what would you like to change and why? Ganun. Tapos, 45 seconds mong i-answer. So, dapat i-consume mo talaga yung 45 seconds para i-answer yung question. So, dapat pag exactong zero, dapat wala ka, dapat nakasa, naka, uh, dun ka pa din hihinto ng pagsalita. So, kailangan mong i-consume yung whole time. Okay? So, yun yung versant. At ito yung ata ang pinakamahirap na part sa assessment. So, after ng versant, um, pinalabas ako, nagwita naman ako sa lobby para sa result ng aking versant. So, ito yung matagal kasi inabutan na kami ng lunch this time. So, ayun, so kumain muna ako, lumabas muna ako, tapos nag-usap po sa kami ni, ni ate, yung kasama ko, at ni Chani, yung kasama ko din. So, yun, nag-usap-usap kami, like, ang hirap, sobrang hirap guys, um, as a person or as a call center um, agent with experience, at tapos mag-undergo ng kuan sa concentrics, it's very hard actually. So, you must be prepared, you must be confident, tapos pray lang tayo guys. Laban lang, wag susuko kasi medyo mahaba nga. Tapos meron pang assessment ito susunod eh. After his over sunt, so I was cold doon sa loob, then meron kaming um, parang um, coaching na nangyari. So, sa versant, um, fortunately, I got a score of 83 out of 100%. So, may mga mistake talaga ako. Alam ko, talaga mahirap siya. So, 83% yung score ko sa versant. So, after nun, I was endorsed to the next two assessment. May dalawa pa guys na assessment after ng versant. So, after nun is in-endorse ako sa um, call flow or mock call. Uh, at meron ding um, mock call or call flow or call simulation. Isa lang sila. And then, situational exam for um, doon sa account na binigay sa akin, which is telco. So, later pa, uusapan natin if hindi ka telco kung ano. Kasi dito na yung sinasabi ko kanina na magdidepende kung ano yung um, situational exam mo at yung call flow mo dito sa account validation. So, after ng versant, ayun nga. So, telco yung binigay sa akin, AT&T account. So, pang telco, yung call simulation at call flow ko at yung situational exam. So, ang katabi ko is actually inoferent siya ng healthcare. So, doon, pinastudy siya sa call flow ng healthcare. Tapos, face-to-face um, -face sila na mayroong makol noong ng healthcare recruiter kasi may recruiter doon na for health, healthcare account for retail at sa akin na talco account sa akin is ayun pinaaral din sa akin yung call flow pero before noon before ako nag mock call mayroong call simulation through robot doon artificial doon sa computer so ang ginawa namin doon is ayun so merong merong parang caller then uh, hello my name is ganyan ganyan i would like to um, i would like to um, renew my debit card ganon or update my payment method Tapos may choices doon, A, B, C, D. Tapos, i-click mo yun. Tapos, andun sa gilid yung call flow. Kung ano yung hingin mong information, ano yung mga steps, kung ganito yung concern, ganyan, ganyan. So, pipili ka doon sa choices kung ano yung tamang sagot. Kung ano yung tamang i-response mo. Kung hindi ka na magsasalita, so pipili ka lang. Pag-click mo noon, meron din siyang sasagot. So, magpa-prompt siya ng iba na namang audio. Tapos, ayun, sunod-sunod mo lang hanggang sa pupunta ka sa end of call. Yung palang na-resolve mo. Or if ever sa chance mo na kung medyo may mali ka na napindot, hindi talaga mariresolve yung concern. So, mababagsak ka. Dalawa yun. So, yun yung dalawa call simulation. After nun is meron na talagang mock call. So, pinamock call ako. 
Um, ayun, so talagang recruiter, nag one on kami. So, ring ring, ganyan. Um, hello, my name is ganyan, ganyan. Tapos, um, same lang din. Kung ano yung call simulation flow, ganun din yung usually yung mga situation sa makal. So, ang nangyari sa makal namin is, ayun, so I introduce myself. Hello, ring ring, my name is Christian Paul. Um, how can I assist you for today? So, yung situation ng makal is, he wanted to update his payment method for his uh, internet service. So, ayun, hiningi ko yung um, number niya, phone number. At talaga, ito, sasadyain nila na, na parang I rate something. Sabihin na, ah, wala akong phone number. Ganun. So, may choices doon. So, tingnan mo lang talaga mabuti kung ano yung pwedeng details para ma-verify yung account. Okay? So, ayan. So, um, yeah, I totally understand. So, can I have, um, do you have a bill with you? Can I have the account number that is reflected on the upper part of your bill? So, ayan, sasabi niya, yes, meron, ganyan, ganyan. So, um, yes, so, ayan, sasabi mo ulit. So, just to make sure I got your concern correctly, so you want to update your payment method that you are using to pay for internet service. So, am I right? Yes. Okay, so, can you please confirm to me your old um yet payment method or the credit or the debit account that you used uh, when paying before? Then, so, verify niya. Okay, so, um, ayun, so let me go ahead and process this one. So, can, um, so if I may ask, uh, will you be using a credit card or a debit card? Ganun, so, niya, debit card. Ganun. Okay, so, can I have the account number? Ganun, ganun, ganun. Can I have the account holder's name? Ganun, ganun, zip code. Okay, so, yan, tapos, tapos na. Ganun, ganun, ganun. Tapos, ayun, tapos na yung makal. Ganun lang, nag-update lang. So, ayun, so, um, is there anything else I can help you with? Tapos, sabi niya, ganun. So, okay, so, thank you so much for calling. It's been a, uh, um, um, Good to be um, talking to you for today and ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So, ayun, pagkatapos nun, nag-wait na ako sa result kasi that was the last um, assessment. Tapos around 3 p.m. na yun ang hapon. So, ito yung matagal. Uh, medyo matagal na din sa next step because um, final interview na. So, matagal ako naghintay around 1 hour but dahil nga marami kami. So, fortunately, ayun, madami sila. So, Marami kong nakausap doon na mga applicants din. So, ayun, share-share kami. So, sobrang happy lang ganun. So, um, around 4 o'clock, I was called for my final interview. So, sa final interview, this one, so, nag-introduce siya sa akin. She was actually a um, operations manager sa Talco account. So, OM yung kausap ko for final interview. So, ayun, so, mga questions niya lang naman is more on doon sa information mo. And then, nag-ask siya sa akin ng tatlong situational question. The first one is, um, how would you um, handle irate customers um, from your previous job? And what is your what is the lesson that you've learned previously na para i-accept ka namin dito sa, sa concentrix? Ganun, yung first question. Tapos, ayun, super ploka ako. So, yung pangalawang question niya is, um, can you tell me the, um, your weakness and your um, strength as a customer service and you will be handling um, Talco account which is one of the challenging account um, in the BPO. Ganun sabi niya, just to set proper expectation, this is one of the most ganun. Pa, alam ko naman kasi AT&T naman ako galing dati, di ba? So, ayun sabi niya. So, ayun, nagsabi ako ng mga weaknesses ko. Like, I have self-doubt, but ganun, ganun, ganun. So, strength ko naman is I can easily adopt. I am very open for constructive criticisms and um, I do apply everything that is um, like yung feedback na binibigay sa akin because um, for it's for me to develop and to enhance um, my um, my capabilities in order for me to serve my purpose and to also um, deliver the expected outcomes. Ganon, yun sabi ko sa strength. Then the last question niya is, this is actually the very um, triggering. So why should we not hire you? Diba usually, why should we hire you? Why should we not hire you? Yung answer ko din naman dito, sabi ko naman sa kanya is, there is actually no reason for you not to hire me because I am someone who is passionate about work. Ganun, ganun sabi ko. So, ayun, sinabi ko, yung mga, I am a multitasker. So, um, just to be honest, I don't see anything that could um, hinder you from hiring me to be one of your top agent, soon to be top agent here in Concentric. So, pagkatapos nga, so, yun, thank you siya. Tapos, poker face kasi yung interview yung OM. So, sabang, sabang nanginginig ako. Then, after nung lumabas ako, and, ayun, 
after nun is pinabalik ako after around 15 minutes and then she congratulated me kasi babae siya eh. so she congratulated me I got the job offer so ayun hindi ko pwede i-disclose yung job offer the account itself is at and hindi naman bago yon so ayun so ayun din dun yung baya ay yung compensation yung privilege benefits and everything so ayun doon and after nun naka job offer na ako so ayun so I'm hoping guys that I know this video is very long but I'm hoping guys that this video will be helpful for all of you who are planning to apply for concentric so if you find this video very helpful um please give it a like uh, subscribe to my youtube channel please guys subscribe to my youtube channel kasi need ko para maka 8,000 um, thousand subscribers na ako so ayun so again I'm very happy for all the appreciation sa lahat mga nakakilala sa akin sa lahat ng mga nasasabi na hi hello ganun nag-gate ako so ayun so nagpa-picture gano'n hindi naman ako talaga ang um, vlogger na sobrang famous but anyway sobrang na-appreciate ko yung lahat ng mga feedbacks comments um, yung mga nakikita ko nag-a-apply so again thank you all so much talaga sobrang nakaka-happy and it really motivates me to do more like this videos dito sa YouTube channel ko. And also, um, comment down below ano yung mga videos so gusto nyo gawin ko. Kung may mga tanong kayo, I am very willing talaga nag-take time ako na mag-answer sa lahat ng mga ganon. And then, um, hit notification bell, yung katabi ng subscribe, para if ever na meron akong new videos, which is helpful sa inyo, is uh, mapanood nyo. So, ayun. So, that's it for this video. Um, sa lahat mga nag-applicants at sa lahat ng mga nanonood ngayon nag wait sa kanilang mga assessment interviews good luck sa inyong lahat I am praying for all of you guys and that's it for this video hope to see you soon on my next vlog bye